Today I have my 20 cup aroma rice cooker and it's boiling away. And what I have in it is six cups of water, which I may add more. And it's got a red bell pepper diced up and two large red potatoes chopped up and um, half of a medium onion chopped up and put in there. So it's boiling away cooking. And then after a while, I will add shrimp and cod to it and some other ingredients. If I think the pot's going to boil over, which I don't think this one is, it's pretty far down there. Uh, I'll put a little wood spoon under the lid to hold it open a little. The potatoes and everything else tender. And I got these wild caught cod loins from Walmart. And there was two in them. Gigantic ones. I like it. <laughs> There's only two, though, in the pack. If I would have known that, I may have grilled those because I like the thicker cod. But they'll be good in the soup. And I'm going to throw them in whole, frozen. And it won't take any time till they're done. I don't want them breaking up into little tiny pieces where you can't find your cod. And then I'll put some uh, extra large shrimp in. So I about, had about a half a pound of extra large shrimp. And I had about a half a pound of super colossal. And peeled, but they had the tails on, so I had to get the tails off. And I cut them in half and threw them in. And then I threw in the two big, thick cod loins. And now, it shouldn't take but a few minutes. Even though they're frozen, they thaw out and cook pretty quick. And then I'll add a little bit of corn, too. After a few minutes of the cod being in there and they thawed out, I just used my wooden spoon and I broke them up into smaller pieces. And let them cook for a few more minutes. And we'll add our, and I added half cup corn. And I usually add celery, but I was out. Um, I have the uh, onions in there and the potatoes and the corn and the red bell peppers and the cod and the shrimp. And I will use butter and I will use garlic powder, a little onion powder, salt and pepper. And I will use heavy whipping cream back soon. So I added one cup of cream. Oh, oh, and my seasonings. Oh my goodness, this is so delicious. I already tasted it, but I am going to dish it up and I'll do a little taste test for you. But it's a simple chowder. And if you want it thicker, you can add um, a slurry of cornstarch and water, or you can add uh, a few instant potatoes to work, or you can add flour and butter. You can make a roux, or you can take a tablespoon of flour. And a tablespoon of butter, mash it up together with a fork and drop it by little pieces while it's boiling. That'll thicken it up. But this is plenty thick for us. We like it like this. And it's also less carbs. Anyway, back soon. I love using these rice cookers because you don't have to mess up your stove. And the insert's real lightweight. It, it uh, washes up so easy, you know. But you can add cayenne pepper. goes really good in this if you want to add it. Uh, like I said, I usually put celery. I didn't have any. And I also leave uh, the the ingredients in the description box below. And also a link for um, this rice cooker. Aroma rice cooker. they got different sizes. I've got almost every size you can have. And if you're interested in the wooden utensils, uh, I'll leave a link in the description box below for those two. I've got quite a few and I, I really like them. So... Anyway, back soon for a taste test. So here it is. And I'll usually throw a little bit of chives in my soup just for color. And uh, a little cayenne. I could put that in there and a little pepper. Um, but it, it, I tasted it already. It is delicious. Oh, my goodness. Look at those chunks of cod. Corn, red bell peppers, shrimp, potatoes, onions, butter, heavy whipping cream. Oh my goodness. You can thicken this up more if you want by taking a couple of tablespoons of flour and two ta the same amount of butter and mashing it up together with a fork. And while this is at a rolling boil, you drop little pieces in and stir. Or you can do a uh, roux with butter and flour. Or you can do uh, a cornstarch slurry. Even instant mashed potatoes would thicken up. But 
we like it just like this, and it's less carbs. It's a lot of yummy stuff in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's take a little taste test, but I, I'm sure it's better with a little cayenne and pepper, but I'm just going to taste it how it is right now. Okay, let's see. Have a little bit of fish, potatoes, and everything, corn. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This was a simple seafood chowder, but oh my goodness, it is so tasty, guys. That heavy whipping cream butter. Mm, mm, mm. Well, it's really easy to clean up with the rice cooker, too. So I'll leave all the ingredients in the description box below. And I'll leave a link for the rice cooker in case you're interested. You can make a lot of soup or chowders in that 20 cup one. I mean, that wasn't even half full. Anyway, it's so good. Thanks for watching, guys.